should calculate an efficiency too while we do it. So let's take uh, an electrical winch. And there's my winch. Let's see. And there's a pulley up here, so I'm lifting something. And the electrical winch is attached here. And it's going to rotate. It's on there. And I've got to lift something. I'll lift, um, let's see. Let's see what happens when I do this. Some animal. The animal is, uh, It's a mule, or it's an anteater. It's a mule. I'm going to lift a mule. Do it metrically. All right, so we've, we're, we're getting this ass up in the air. And um, let's see. I need some output work. So uh, let's say that the, uh, the mass of my ass is about um, 500 kilograms. And uh, I'm raise it a height of uh, three meters. That'll be sticking up in the air, okay? And uh, this motor here has a voltage of uh, let's see, well, let's say it's 100. And, let's say it's 110 volts, 100 volts. Let's make it 100 volts because I didn't bring a calculator. And um, Let's say we've got a current of 5 amps, and it takes 10 seconds. Uh-oh. Uh I have to ponder this. It takes 60 seconds. It takes a minute to raise it up. It's a slow moving rise. Okay. Now, what I want to know is what's the electrical work that's done? Well, let's solve for the mechanical first. We've done that before, so we'll have to approximate. So, what's the output work? Raising the ass up here, getting that mule up three meters. And the output work. Is mass times gravity times height, which is uh, 500 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared times 3 meters, which is going to be. I'm going to say it's 14,700. Kilogram meters per second squared, that's a newton times a meter. So I've got a newton times a meter, which is a joule. So 14,700 joules. Okay? That's the output work. Now, what went into doing that? That's the electrical work in. Let's see, the electrical work in. is equal to the voltage times the current times the time, which is 100 volts times 5 amps times 60 seconds. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to rewrite this just with the unit, I'm going to break these units down a little bit. Instead of 100 volts, a volt is the energy you give the per charge. It's a joule per coulomb. So the more energy I give the charge, the faster they're going to scoot. So a volt's a joule per coulomb. So I'm going to call that 100 joules per coulomb. Now 5 amps, an amp's a coulomb per second, the rate at which the charge moves. And uh, seconds, uh, well, it's a second to a second. But notice that the seconds cancel, and the coulombs cancel, and I'm left with units of work. I'm left with joules. And that's going to be here. Uh, So finally, the 
let's figure out what the efficiency is. Efficiency is given by eta, that m with that kind of hangy thing right there. All right. Efficiency, we'll use the percent efficiency. It's the output work divided by the input work times 100%, which is uh, 14,700 joules divided by 30,000 joules times 100%. And do we do it right? Yeah, it's going to be less than 100%. And you can't do better than 100 You can't even do 100% work. You can't get more out than you put in or even what you put in. And the joules cancel, so I'll let, be left with percent. And so I'm going to be, I'm going to be running roughly, let's see. Now you check this out. This is going to be an approximation, but it should be pretty close to about 49% efficiency. All right? So that's electrical work.